why do some games feel so good to play while others don't? Well, that's because, under the hood, most well-designed platformers make use of a main couple of neat tricks to make the game more forgiving and to make the player feel more in control. I have made a beginner-friendly character controller for Godot to help you get started with all of these features, but first, let's go over what they are. Both Coyote Time and Jump Buffering make jumping more forgiving. Coyote Time gives the player a little extra time to make their jump even if they're still not on the platform. This makes it so if you're trying to jump across a long ledge and you want to jump off of that last pixel, the game will be more forgiving and just let you jump off the air. Here you can see I'm already off the ground, but the game still lets me jump because of the Coyote Time buffer. Jump Buffering does the same thing but the opposite. What Jump Buffering does is it logs your input even if you're in the air still, so once you hit the ground, it lets you jump. You can see here is when I've actually pressed the jump button and here I hit the ground and it registers the jump that I pressed like two frames earlier. This also makes it so eating your input, as most people say it, isn't a problem. Now these next two also have to do with jumping, but don't necessarily make the game more forgiving, just more fun to play. Variable jump height allows the player to control how high they're gonna jump by changing how long they press the jump button. Without variable jump height, see here, Every time I press the button, no matter how long I press it, I'll jump the same height every time. But with variable jump height, if I hold the button, I'll reach max height, but if I just tap it, then I'll go do a little short hop. Another thing a lot of games do, something I call fast descent, it just changes the jump curve to make it so your player falls faster than how fast they ascend. This just makes it so the jump feels less floaty. For some games, you're gonna want a floaty jump, but most of the time, if the player falls faster than they ascend, it makes the game feel a lot smoother and faster. Another feature there is, is something that's called corner cutting. Now that's the Mario Maker speedrunner term, I don't actually know what the real thing is called. But basically, it allows the game to detect if the player is just about to make a jump around a corner. If it is and the player barely misses it, instead of letting the player bonk their head on the top of the ceiling, it slightly nudges them out a couple of pixels so they're allowed to make the jump. All of these features and more are included in my character controller. There's dashing, controlling how fast the acceleration and deceleration of the player is, wall jumping, wall climbing, wall latching, crouching, rolling, and more. If you want to get started with this character controller, all you have to do is download it and then attach it to a character body 2D in Godot, attach the necessary child nodes like, you know, a collider and some sprites, adjust the values, and you're pretty much done. Now this is a beginner character controller. It does have a lot of great features, but if you were going to get really deep into making a game, I will say it is probably better to go for a more composite type of programming, basically making a separate script for each function instead of having everything in one big script. But if you're just getting started in game development, or you want to use it in like a game jam or something, I think this is a really good resource. And you don't even need to download it to test it, you can literally go on my itch page and try out the demo. And the final thing, this thing is completely free to use, I have it under the MIT license, which is the same thing Godot uses, free, open source, you don't gotta credit me, you just have to put the license thing in the thing for the thing in your game. So yeah, feel free to use it. Maybe drop a like on the itch page on this video, whatever. And yeah, happy programming.